Hi, I'm Kevin Friedman, Lip Rivers Head of Pro Staff. Today, I'll be showing a very simple yet effective way to fish for trout, and one of my personal favorites, an inflated night crawler on a Carolina rig. Here are the items you will be needing. Two to four pound fishing line, one sliding egg sinker between 16th ounce and quarter ounce, one size 12 swivel, one size 12 bait holder hook from Eagle Claw, one cup of night crawlers, one worm blower, and one jar of Lippipper's hatchery dust, which I'll get into later. All right, it's time to get creative. First, you take your fishing line. Next, you take your sliding sinker. You determine which size weight you wanna use by how far you will be casting. Now, grab your swivel. Size 12 is my favorite because of its size, but this component isn't crucial, so you can use other sizes if you must. Tie on and we are ready for the next step. Now, take some extra leader line and tie onto your swivel. You can either take this line from your reel before tying your rig, or you can take it from an extra spool. With about one foot of leader, you're gonna to wanna to tie on your hook. We like to use a size 12 bait holder hook from Eagle Claw. Hooks are very important with this technique because we want our worm to float. If it's not floating, you're catching less fish. So a small, lightweight hook is very important. A floating bait catches more fish because it is off the ground and more visible to the fish. Not to mention, keeping you out of algae, rock, mud, and sticks on the bottom of the lake. Now it's time for your bait. Trout like small presentations and a mistake that many rookie anglers make when using night crawlers is using the whole worm. Sure you can catch fish like this, but you're now going to get bit short by the smaller fish, meaning the fish in the 12 inch and under range will have an extremely hard time trying to inhale the entire bait. So we recommend pinching the worms in half. The floating night crawler Carolina rig is almost complete, but now we need the worm to float off the bottom, so it's time to inject a little bit of air into the worm. What this does is traps the air inside of the worm, creating air pockets and ultimately floating the worm. You'll quickly get the hang of which spots hold the air better by trial and error. After you're finished, it's key that you stick your worm and your hook in the water before casting to make sure that the worm is floating. If it isn't, inject more air. And now, the most important step while fishing for trout. The same step that is going to allow you to outfish your buddies that are fishing next to you. Take some lip rippers hatchery dust and pour some into your hand. Now smother your worm in it. What you are doing is coating the outside of the night crawler with real hatchery pellet food. The same food that the majority of trout you are fishing for have been raised and forced to eat their entire lives in fish hatcheries before you catch them. Thanks for joining me, Kevin Friedman, head of the Lipifers Pro Staff. Make sure to subscribe below and join us for new videos posted to YouTube every Tuesday and Friday. Now let's get out there and rip some lips.